Treating neck pain yourself, how does that feel? Very good. Why do most people want this? Because most of them have stiff necks, too many tensions in there, pain, can't turn their head properly. We are now doing two exercises and then observe, feel in, what happens. Now sit down on a chair and I intentionally didn't tell Rene which exercises we are doing so that he can ask anything that is not clear to him from which you will also get more information. Please sit up straight, completely straight, good posture. Pull your chin slightly towards your larynx, yes. And now you turn your head exactly 45 degrees to the left. What we are doing now is the most important exercise, actually a little secret exercise, basically because it helps with most neck pain. Now where you're looking, you pull your shoulder down. To be able to pull the shoulder down better, you should bend your elbow. By tensing your muscles a little bit now, you have a better feeling for pulling your shoulder down. Pull them down, all the way down. Now the right hand comes over the head, Rene, over the head, so that the fingertips are near the left earlobe, the upper edge. So, and now the rough position is set. Now take your arm in such a way that the elbow tends more towards the knee. I don't understand again, so the elbow must... So you have him standing very far outside. Take it in such a way that the upper arm is more or less pointing forward. Ah, uh, yes. And then the elbow is approximately where your right knee is. Ah, uh, yes, good, okay. Because that's exactly where you're moving your right elbow now. But then my chin goes up again. Yes, that's why you don't have to lift it up. Also, you are now doing three things. You are sitting straight, pulling your left shoulder down, pulling your chin towards your larynx, and I just noticed thing number four, and you are pulling your head forward down to the right. And then it causes a distinct stretching pain in the back left. And you have to love him because he is the one who can set you free. Go into the stretch really nicely. And join in right away because we do it fully during practice time so that you can benefit directly from it. How long is the exercise time? A total of two and a half minutes, two to two and a half minutes. Stay nice and straight, correct yourself again and again, also work a little bit on your own. And keep pulling further in this direction so that this stretching pain on the back left side of the neck is still bearable, just a comfortable pain. And breathe consciously, deep inhale, deep exhale. And now slowly we can start doing some strength training for your neck so that the muscles can adapt even better to the increased length and increased flexibility. Pull your head straight back up to the left. For which muscle am I doing this now? You're doing this for this large neck muscle here. And relax again and continue into the stretch. Does it mean further down to the right? Further down, exactly. And pull your chin towards the target head as before. And keep your back straight. And keep the shoulder pulled down. These are always the points you have to consider. And again, you pull your head against your hand. Slowly increase. Always be a little careful with the cervical vertebrae. Always be a little reserved. How long do I increase the whole thing? Just as you have the strength and you still feel comfortable. Okay. And relax again and continue stretching. And again, chin and again, shoulder. And sit up straight again. And now attention, the head stays exactly where it is, but you let it go. Let him go and stay right there. And now actively pull your right temple towards your right knee. I am now moving my head towards, okay, yes, oh, wow. And a little bit more, a little bit more. This is now active stretching. And slowly out again. Please comment whether that was comprehensible for you. And if you liked it, then a thumbs up and a like would be good too. Or to the other side, perhaps, yes, as you wish. Now we do the same so that it is balanced on the other side. Stay nice and straight again. Stay straight. Always assume the basic position, so to speak. 45 degrees, was that? 45 degrees. Wherever you look to the right side, pull the right shoulder down. What are you doing? Okay, right here. And then up here? And chin down, you said. Chin ran. Stay nice and straight. Okay? But now you have taken your head forward again. You should only turn it until here, yes, not take it forward yet. And now you give me your left hand over your head. And you participate at home directly, please, right? I'll try to describe everything so that you don't have to constantly look, okay? So, 
Now align your elbow so that it sticks out about as wide as your left knee. And now you pull your elbow, the left one, towards your left knee. And now you feel the stretching at the back right. Shoulder must stay low. You must stay straight. And you are getting thinner. But in a way that you are still on an active vacation, right? A strenuous active vacation, but still a vacation, right? No work. I can also smile. Exactly. But smile relaxed. Smile kindly. Yes, breathe nicely. Increase a little bit more. We still have to wait a little bit for the fascia to give in well. It only starts to give in really well after 30 seconds. Therefore, you should always stretch for at least 30 seconds. Better two minutes, yes, but preferably not less than 30 seconds. That's our opinion. And compensatory exercises, so you always do them automatically on the right and left side? Exactly. Always right and left in this exercise. Otherwise, you will eventually walk around like this if you only practice one side, right? And now we start with strength training so that the muscle gets even more used to liking this greater length. Now your head wants to be exactly with me. Your head wants to come to me, but you hold it tight. But don't do it too strenuously. It must still be tolerable. Then you relax again and go a little further into the stretch. What really works again, right? Yes, yes, yes. That is the trick. That's the trick. Keep your shoulder low, back straight, and once again, you tense up your head towards me. Okay? So, that you still feel good, then relax and stretch even more. What goes again conquers a little longer. Ultimately, our pain-relieving exercises consist of simply making what is too short longer. Basically quite simple, right, in principle. And now you slowly let go here too, let go slowly, leave the head where it is. Yes. Take your hand away, the left one, move away, move away. We don't need that anymore. Everything else remains the same. And your left temple wants to go to your left knee. This is a bit difficult again, the tension, right? Exactly, this is now the active stretching. Why is it called active stretching? Because you actively pull and stretch the muscles on this side here, the ones that are here, with the head behind it. Pull a little more, pull a little more, pull a little more, and slowly normalize again. Get out again and feel your way back in. Yes. And now you get the tip before falling asleep, the tip for freeing the naked before falling asleep. I love the naked liberation tip before falling asleep. Yes, René loves him so much that he is firmly built in, right? Because he already has a little trick in the form of his dozen. That's a bit of neck stretching, but joking aside. Now I want to show you our neck saver, because please raise your head and lie down on it, exactly where the skull, the lower edge of the skull is. Do you mean the edge? Yes, so lie down on it. Relax your arms. So, this is the next stretch, without having to do anything in front of the TV in the evening. You have to hang at the right height, of course, so you can see well, or you read something, or chat a little. Wonderful preparation without wasting time, because you can do it on the side. How long are you going to lie on it? Oh, don't ask. Sometimes half an hour or longer. Oh, dear God. Yes, but you don't have to do it. You don't have to do that, right? Two minutes is almost too short. You will love it because it relaxes everything so beautifully. People keep falling asleep on the neck rest, yes, because it's just so relaxing. And just briefly explained, it has three parts. You can adjust the height, but this is now the highest height, and you can also reinforce it here by doing something. You stretch, stretch your arms and pull them in, and put them stretched up and down, and then you notice, oh, that's an adjustment screw. The stretching becomes even greater. Okay? By the way, if you want more videos to sleep, we have made a lot, then click here above, there is a playlist, very, very exciting things included. But you noticed, right? I noticed. Okay, stay like that, it stretches nicely. And while Renee is doing that, just a brief note on my own behalf, this neck saver is also one of our tools that I have developed to make practicing easier, more efficient, and in this case, above all, to save time. And under the video, you will find it. You click on it. There you get all the information. Okay, so far so good. How does it feel? 
so I would say very intense, of course, now with the arms back, you can feel it stretching up to the back of the neck, right? Exactly. And without spending any additional time on it. You get a whole playlist of neck here. They should also subscribe, right? In any case, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new videos and recommend us to others. Because there are so many people with stiff necks in your entire circle of acquaintances, relatives. What is a stiff neck? This is a neck like a board. Okay, explain nicely. So hard. So hard, right? And it has to become soft and then you feel much more comfortable. Please share the video and simply pass on this information there. You know, our goal is that every person becomes older, the more pain-free and mobile they become. Goodbye until the next video. Say bye. Renee and I 